हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो वी आर विद द लास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ एडवांस डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग द चैप्टर इज टाइटल्ड अप्लीकेशंस ऑफ सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग सो वेरियस अप्लीकेशंस फ्रॉम द सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग डोमेन एज लाइक द सिग्नल डिटेक्शन स्पेक्ट्रल एनालिसिस ऑफ साइनोसोइडल सिग्नल्स स्पीच सिग्नल्स रैंडम सिग्नल्स वी हैव सीन द डोमेन ऑफ म्यूजिक इज आल्सो टचड विद म्यूजिक साउंड प्रोसेसिंग द स्पेशल इफेक्ट्स वी हैव सीन हाउ टू सिंथेसाइज विद द हेल्प ऑफ सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग टास्क digital music synthesis also we have seen then having the generation of analytic signal the signal compression achieved the use of trans multiplexers multitone transmission of digital data in the previous video we have seen the over sampling a to d converter structure so this was the over sampling a to d converter structure intended to avoid the undesirable distortion effect because of the design of the anti aliasing filter now instead of a to d conversion here we are going to address d to a conversion here so this is also with the help of over sampling approach keeping the sampling rate much higher than that is required by the nyquist criteria that is why the name over sampling and this is for d to a converter here so let us begin to see what are the details of over sampling d to a converter so let us start with so here we start with our topic the topic titled over sampling d to a converter here now as in the previous case as it was a to d conversion we know analog to digital so that was initially with the help of the sampling and satisfying the criteria and further now here we have d to a conversion here so in short the digital to analog conversion is having the two steps to be performed so first of all the conversion of input digital samples into the staircase type of the continuous time waveform by means of d to a converter that will be having zero order hold at its output and that will be also followed by an analog low pass reconstruction filter giving us the output here so if in this case the sampling rate that usually we denote by capital f suffix t as shown in this block schematic also this is for the input digital signal the sampling rate if it is same as that of the nyquist rate the analog low pass reconstruction filter must be having a very sharp cut off in its frequency response so the case of anti aliasing filter that we have discussed in the previous video in the similar fashion this case will also involve the design of a very high order analog reconstruction filter that requires high precision analog circuit components here so to work with this particular problem here also we are going to have the approach of over sampling where a wide transition band can be tolerated at the frequency response of the reconstruction filter that allows its implementation using low precision analog circuit components while requiring a more complex digital interpolation filter at the front end so the improvement into the performance of the over sampling d to a converter can be obtained by employing the digital sigma delta 1 bit quantizer at the output of the digital interpolator the entire block schematic you see on this particular slide so here we have first of all the digital input and then with the bits b here we have the interpolation for the sampling rate confined to ft here we get it to l times ft so along with the interpolator here we have the lth band low pass filter further we feed it to a summer where we have the msbs and lsbs to be associated in focus finally giving the resulting signal to the one bit d to a converter structure and at last by passing it through the analog low pass filter we get the analog type of the output here so this is what the reversal process that we have seen for the previous topic so in this overall procedure 
what is the role of quantizer the quantizer is extracting the msb from its corresponding input and subtracting the remaining lsbs the quantization noise from corresponding input the msb output is then further fed into one bit d2a converter and pass through an analog low pass reconstruction filter to remove all the frequency components beyond the signal band of interest here now the spectrum of the quantified or the quantized we can say one bit output of the digital sigma delta quantizer is nearly the same as that of the input so more information we can show that it will also shape the quantization noise spectrum by moving the noise power out of the signal band of the interest and for verification of this particular result let us have consideration of the sigma delta quantizer that we have in separate view here and from this particular illustration we see the input output relation of the quantizer given as y of n minus e of n is equal to x of n minus e of n minus 1 the equivalent representation of y of n individually that is equal to x of n added by e of n minus e of n minus 1 so here y of n is the msb of the nth sample of the adder output from the block schematic you can compare and e of n is the nth sample of the quantization noise composed of all the bits except the msb now let us have the example of the oversampling d2a conversion where the signal is a sinusoidal sequence of frequency 100 hertz operating at the sampling rate of 1 kilohertz here so here we visualize the corresponding input for the lower rate d2a converter and next to that we have the output here that is depicting the interpolated sinusoidal sequence operating at the higher sampling rate of 5 kilohertz here so this is the illustration for the second case so when the conventional lower rate and oversampled d2a converters are utilized for the same low pass filter with the white transition band for both of the cases the filtered outputs here we have the illustration for the low pass filtered output of the signal for the conventional d2a converter and by the use of oversampling d2a converter the comparison you can make here the oversampling d2a converter is giving us a very good result here and if the conventional d2a converter that is utilizing a sharp cutoff low pass filter is employed the corresponding filtered output signals can be illustrated here so we are having very good curvature obtained with the help of this particular approach so following the procedure of the sigma delta d2a conversion if the input sequence frequency is of 100 hertz and the sampling rate is equal to 5 kilohertz the signal can be clearly oversampled if the sampling rate is much more higher than the Nyquist rate that we have the double of the frequency so the frequency if it is 100 Hertz the Nyquist rate it will be 200 Hertz the higher sampling rate we have kept it to be 5 kilohertz here so the corresponding digital input signal for this particular procedure the quantized digital output for the sigma delta quantizer and the filtered output of the d2a converter we have the illustrations here so as like the previous case the application of compact disc that is cd player also involves the oversampling sigma delta d2a converter here now let us have a look on the block schematic that describes the basic components of the signal processing procedure for the CD player where the typical factor of 4 oversampling D2A converter is employed for each of the audio channel and the 44.1 kilohertz input digital audio signal is interpolated first of all by the factor of 4 to 176.4 kilohertz rate and then further converted into the analog audio signal 
so this was a discussion on the approach of oversampling d2a converter by the next lecture we will be addressing the last application from this particular chapter that it will be the sparse antenna array design and then we will have the hands on practice of these applications achieved by trying to have implementation into the matlab environment thank you